Good evening, leadership team. We're going to be working on a couple of different things this week as we get into our next class. I'm sitting here at the end of DC Marvel Week, getting guys prep for next week. And so the first thing we want to talk about is a little activity I call the Communication Directions Game. And so one of the things you're going to want to work on this week is being able to give very concise, very clear directions so that without physical presentation or without physical representation or demonstration, your followers can listen and follow you. So imagine for a minute, just to give you a quick scenario, we're on Zoom right now doing class. For whatever reason, everybody's freezing up. You can't see anybody. They can't see you, but they can hear you. And how does that go? How do they perform? And how do they get the best instruction and the best leadership from you? So we'll have some fun with that this week in class. It should be a good time. And then our leadership law this week is a law of priorities, right? So really making sure that what's important gets done first. As a leader, that could be really vital, really important. One of the jokes I've always made with the instructors over the years is I would say, hey, if I had a month, guys, I would get so many things done that I've wanted to do for years. Well, life has a funny way of answering the call, and I've had a few months of, of life being in a different, different way, different perspective. But what I can tell you about that now looking back on it is that really it isn't about what you want to do, it's what you need to do and what's important. And sure, there's a lot of things I could have done with this time, but as a staff, as instructors, we really focused on making sure that we kept classes going for our students so they can continue to benefit from martial arts training. And so maybe we didn't have that, uh, that extra time that some others did. And that's okay. That's okay because it's all about priorities. And as a leader, you have to prioritize what's most important at the moment and really get that done first. And so we hope you all focus on that and do that. And our last uh, little exercise we'll work on is what we call repeating the soundtrack. Now this can work with anything, kata, basic, self-defense, sparring techniques. We do tend to focus on it in the kata, where if an instructor is teaching something and then lets you take it over, lets you teach it, you want to make sure that you're repeating that same soundtrack, using the same words they use, the same tonality. Try to duplicate it as much as you can, because that's the soundtrack that the student or the follower is going to take home with them, right? So if there's consistency amongst myself and the other instructors, and then all the instructors and all the assistants and leaders and helpers out there, it really makes for better learning of the student and we create a better follower. So I hope you'll do your part as part of this team. We'll put together some exercises so we can work on it this week. And a, a quick message to all of our leadership team members. We've had our tier two students out there assisting our leadership, or our, I'm sorry, our, our Zoom classes so far. We'd love to get more of you that qualify to, to assist classes and do service classes out there at this time doing some of that. And so we'd love to get you engaged. If you're interested, see myself and see Senpai, and we can put together a class or two for you. So good luck, guys. We'll see you on Friday. Class dismissed.